Hey, how's it going everyone? Grivnum here, back again with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Been a few days since I last uploaded. I was dealing with my car breaking down on me and trying to get that fixed. Luckily, it is now fixed and I feel confident with making a video. Uh, but since then, <clears throat> we have got this insane Monster Hunter collab with Raid Shadow Legends. I think this is so cool getting these characters in here. They fit so perfectly well um and they look aesthetically awesome now i remember a couple weeks ago maybe a month ago we had that something big is coming to raid uh teaser right and we i thought it was a lizard man or some, something like that you know we saw this like shadow with wings grab uh death knight um we didn't know who it was and it's hard to say that it was honestly any one of these people but uh, I think the uh, the obvious answer was maybe it was a Rathalos, a, a Rathalos actual monster from the game itself, um, which is what the seven day login champion is wearing. He's wearing the Rathalos skin armor uh, and weapon there. I've seen a lot of the the content creator YouTubers actually kind of get it wrong, thinking that these are the names of these champions, like their actual names. Uh, but it's just not the case. Rathalos, Zinogre, uh, Nergigante, Al Al Alatrion, and Fatalis. These are all the names of the monsters that they've killed and turned into weaponry and armor. Um, and we have, of course, this current fusion going on. And if you take a look, uh, well, I'll show you in a sec. I'll show you in a sec, but we have this current fusion going on um that i'm gonna be doing of course i didn't do the last two i didn't do um uger or blazar so i'm gonna get this one done for sure but the rathalos seven day login champion looks pretty solid uh you know i guess he's good against bosses that's really the main thing with all these guys here they're gonna be good against bosses nergigante might be the most sought after one here um i i don't know her actual name unless i look at the lore tab in fact you should check out the lore tab it will show you their names and stuff but this one's gonna be the most sought after one because you can actually use her in uh in uh hydra right so she can have the most use in hydra where the rest of these are gonna be kind of kind of all over the place and, and it's gonna be hard to really pinpoint where they're the best at uh, let's go over to the game now so of course we have the fusion uh, event that has started, right? And people are dissecting this, figuring out what they're gonna do. Apparently you can skip the champion chase that's gonna be like next week. Um, and you can just do the summon rush. Cool, I think that's a good idea. You know, maybe try to collect a few points from that, that champion chase in case you miss a few on the way. Um, but if we come over here to the shadow kin, and we go to Zen Ogre Blade Master. I'd like to actually consider, if we look here, you can see her name is Haru. Haru and the Palico Seto. So her name is Haru, and it's you know all preference, but I personally would would like to refer to her as Haru from this point on, right? Instead of calling her Zen Ogre because it just doesn't fit well. But her armor is amazing, and clearly she she took down a Zenogre and killed it, right? Now, let's see here. Where is... We have a, a, a Latrion Blademaster, right? And if we, if we look here in the lore, his name is Hadrux. Hadrux. None of these champions, none of these names are, character, are characters that you're going to see in the game. I don't think. I think it's just just names created for the sake of of this crossover <clears throat> it looks honestly so cool it looks awesome but i don't know how well he's going to be useful for me um he's a very support but i just don't see the you know the use in his support skills here what is it fills the turn meter by five percent i mean that is cool that's really great to have uh getting that turn meter boost um Yep, so only his turn meter. But yeah, I don't have time to really dissect all these guys. The one that I really want the most, but it seems as though he's not going to be as good as I hope he is. Who knows? Uh, if I can pull him, I'd, I'd, I'd be so happy. But Fatalis Blademaster, which his name is uh, Fryzen. So 
Horizon. Not that it matters much. Um, I think just saying Haru, knowing Haru's name, is more more important because everyone's going to be talking about her and, and going for the, the Haru fusion. Um, but yeah, he's got some cool skills that these first two or... Yeah, the first three skills here, I could see being very solid for Arena, right? But then you have this this secret skill, which may just be for like bosses and probably won't help you all that much against uh, the the arena. But maybe uh, we'll ignore 50% of the target's defense. Yeah, maybe it still will. Um, I, I'm impressed or I'm excited to see what people can do with this guy. Um, his secret skill animation is honestly one of the sickest things ever uh, because it has so many homages to monster hunter um charging up an attack pulling back and then launching forward doing like a barrel roll if you haven't seen the animation for that attack go check that out i think it's awesome so i forgot to mention with haru uh, i love that she's got the triple hitter stuff she's got a lot of hitting attacks like multi hits um and her passive is is really cool i love that she's gonna do more damage and if you pair her with Emic, right? So Emic's gonna be also improving your damage when you're below 20% HP, I believe it is. So she's gonna be low HP and then plus Emic, and she's just gonna do insane damage, especially against people that are on under a decreased defense debuff. Um, of course, she doesn't provide that herself. She doesn't provide a decreased defense uh, debuff. Um, and someone also pointed out how interesting it is that the uh, if you read here, or sorry, if you read one of these, I forget where it is, but it something mentions, here it is. This here says that Haru is capable, capable of placing a weaken, a leech, a decrease attack, and increase attack. Oh, you know what? They changed it. They had a typo in here. They also added in here that she could place a decreased defense debuff. Somebody pointed that out and it looks like they've actually fixed that. So that's good to see. Not that it matters. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, but uh, we have the fusion that has started today. I love this crossover. I love these, these champions, the way they look and all that. Um, champion training, pretty solid if you're going to be doing this and you have a lot of skill tomes saved up that's a good way to get started so i actually use like all of my tomes and just threw them in there and i have been also upgrading some champions to five star um dragon tournament pretty pretty straightforward just run dragon so i've been doing hard 10 uh not not the most efficient way to do it <clears throat> you could easily just do normal stage 20 and and be totally fine save a lot of energy and and get more points for your uh for your buck there uh let's see what was the last one i did not okay well i didn't look at the rathlos guy uh so rathlos blade master right so let's see this guy really cool love his outfit um and i remember i was watching one of hell hades videos and he was looking at haru so this is one of his uh haru videos for the fusion and he said he said, oh, she looks cool, man. Oh, so what, what was she hunting? What, what was she hunting? He asked, what was it that she was hunting? And I'm like, ah, man, you don't understand, do you? She was hunting the Zenogre. You know what I mean? It's it's just funny how, how it just goes over their head. But you wouldn't know unless you played the game. So I understand. But I feel like Rathalos is the most standout, most common one to know. If you've never played the monster hunter game and you still haven't heard of rathalos that's surprising they've they had rathalos just show up at uh like the game awards one year i think it was they like literally said here comes the wrath they even had rathalos in in super smash brothers you know what i mean they they just have them everywhere um of course he's not that well known but he's he's pretty pretty known uh really solid skills here i'm not going to go over all that you guys can and can uh you know check that out we're all gonna get the login uh but it's the the archer here that i know a lot of people are gonna be searching for some of the best uh reviews so far i'm not many people have reviewed but uh getting a five out of five 
in Hydra here. Uh, no surprise there. She looks insane. And and if you haven't seen a Nerd Gigante, um, and for your for your little little uh, small fact here, the R apparently means ruiner. So it's ruiner Nerd Gigante. I don't know why that's even on there, but. Yeah, so she's going to be coming in with this increased accuracy uh, uh, for herself. A lot of these, a lot of these champions are selfish. So if you look at the kit from a lot of these Monster Hunter champions, they're kind of just giving themselves these buffs and and just putting it on themselves. But this is still fine. So buff herself with increased accuracy, right? Uh, can place decreased speed. That's awesome. Also, degree. Uh. And just place stun. She's not going to do that to the Hydra, but this is a great decrease speed ability here. Now it's the A3 that people are really going to be loving. Uh, placing that Hex and that Provoke uh, to turn. I don't think uh, the head of Decay or the head of whatever it is is ever going to get a turn with this. Because it's a two turn Provoke on a three turn cooldown. I think that's that's like a godlike ability for control. That really is right now i couldn't i cannot imagine how well she's going to be doing in arena if somebody gets her up and running in arena um she's actually got a decent amount of hp as well good defense good hp she's also gonna be healing uh doing some heals and increasing some defense uh but yeah so just a little update on 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 what's been going on so far you know we have this fusion and I'm excited for it. I am saving up my shards, so tomorrow you may see me do a shard opening video. And and I'm definitely interested in getting her. Now, I don't know where I would exactly use her, per se. Now, I know she's great in Fire Knight. Uh, people are saying, you know, use her in Fire Knight. But, you know, when, when I already have a solid team, that is... Uh, her aura is, is great. But she's not going to be replacing Razavarg, right? She's not going to be replacing that increase uh speed uh that Razavar does she's not gonna have as much speed as he does she's not gonna be hitting as hard um i just don't know but we'll see because i mean she's got this ability that does a four times hitter plus increased speed on all allies so that's really solid um <clears throat> but hey you know let me know what you guys are thinking uh, not much else I can show here, I guess, besides uh, me doing some some leveling up for my champions. You know, I'm just throwing some some potions into them, trying to get get the uh, levels up there. Uh, take this guy up a little bit. He's just gonna become food for somebody else. Let's see here. So I have plenty of potions. Um, let's do a void champion. Take a void. Four star up to a five star. I've had so many of these chickens too. Um, so they're easy points. And then we just come over here, toss a couple more potions into her. You know, come back over here. You know, so I'm going to whittle this away little by little. Uh, but hey, tomorrow during the uh, the fusion, or sorry, during the poll event, we're all going to have a chance to, to uh, oh, I forgot to show this, to get Nerd Gigante, to get Fatalis. I know a lot of people want to get them. So tomorrow we're going to have that ability. Now, here, of course, is the Fragment Calendar. Starting tomorrow, we have the Champion, we have the Summon Rush, right? And a lot of people are thinking of skipping the champion chase. That's going to happen on the 19th. Um, originally, I thought that Plarium had set the the uh, summoning chance for Nerd Gigante and Fatalis to be during the 19th. Or, or sorry, during like the 22nd or something. I was going to say that's terrible. They want us to pull our shards when there's not a, not a, a boosted chance to get those champions. Um, but I'm glad they changed it if, if if that's what happened. But hey, yeah, just uh just an update, guys. Good luck on your fusion. 
I think this is a fantastic crossover. I'm excited to see what else they bring this year. And this fusion event is pretty solid. There's nothing to uh, be upset about as far as the capability of getting things done. Uh, the points, they're not too high up there. 2200 or five fragments. Uh, what's this one down here? This was the Dungeon Divers, okay. Uh, 3,700. I don't think that's terrible. I think before we, we've we seen uh, fragments up in like the 4,500 range, right? So it's good that it's a little further down. This is pretty normal. Um, but yeah, that's going to be about it, guys. You know, good luck on your fusion. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, if you like to hear me ramble. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you.